What is good, Light Fam? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to overcome low self esteem. I'm going to give you guys four steps to boosting your confidence and living the life of your dreams. We're starting right now. All right, so if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe. Please hit that notification bell as I do drop new videos every single week. And you never know, one of these videos might be the insight that you need to get your life up to the next level. So without further ado, let's get right on into the content. Okay guys, so the first step to building self-confidence, building your self-esteem is self-awareness. And that's self with a capital S. Once you have a core belief and understanding of your true identity, now all of a sudden you lose all of your fear. And you know what they say, on the other side of fear is freedom. So you are divine consciousness. You are the divine creator. Let me say that a bit more delicately for some of the viewers who may still be under the indoctrination of the different ideologies. I don't wanna ruffle any feathers. You are a fractal of divine consciousness. You're a microcosm in the macrocosm. You're, you're a piece of the divine puzzle having a physical experience to get a greater understanding of yourself in the infinite, in the divine, through temporary physical contrast. Okay? So once you understand that you have always been, you always will be, you are eternal and you are the creator of all things, <laughs> That's a self-identity that is, is kind of hard to have low self-esteem at that point. So now with this newfound self-identity and core belief of your, your true self, fear now falls away. You lose fear of failure, fear of people conspiring against you. Think of this, if you are everything, you're everybody, you're everywhere, how can you be against yourself? right? You would be divided against yourself. So then how could you really have enemies? So when those types of concepts start to take shape as your core belief system, the physical evidence of that belief system starts to show up in your physical environment. And that core belief and understanding of being eternal allows you to lose your fear of death. You understand that consciousness does not need a physical brain to exist, to make decisions, to exert free will. And so then your concept of yourself, your self-esteem obviously skyrockets back to where it was before you consciously decided to forget your true identity so that when you incarnate into this physical reality, uh, the experience would seem that much more real and you would learn all of the lessons through contrast. Okay, step number two, understand your own completeness. Understand your own wholeness. It's only the egoic man-made ideologies that want you to believe that you are incomplete, that you're not perfect. Why? So that you can depend on them so that they can stay in control of your life which feeds their ego and also lines their pockets. Don't believe the lies. You're not under construction. You are perfect. Where does this exist in nature? Does an apple tree not give birth to perfect apples? <laughs> when a lion has a cub, is it a perfect lion cub? It's only man that puts this nonsense on people to try to control them through fear. Don't believe it. Understand your whole, <laughs> your wholeness. Understand your completeness. And when you understand that you are perfect, you're complete, you're not emitting a signal of needing something. You're not emitting a signal of lack. You're not, you're not trying to get something. The, the, the signal that you're emitting is not a, a taker. So when you meet other people, new acquaintances, new business opportunities, maybe someone that, someone that you're interested in romantically, you're not emitting the signal that you need something from them because you're already complete. And once you understand that you are a eternal spiritual being having a physical experience when you meet other people and that you're complete, 
when you meet other people, you're just seeing an extension of yourself, another spiritual being having a temporary physical experience. And now there's a, there's a, a greater connection of energy. They're not picking up your signal of needing this. You're not trying to get something from them. You're whole and complete and you're going to attract those signals that resonate with you. You're going to attract like-minded people who are on a higher vibration. And then, you know, <laughs> the business opportunities or, or your twin flame and all of that stuff, the, the romantic possibilities are just going to be on a completely different level because you're attracting on a completely different level, a higher level. All right, so part three, make it a game. Listen, Light Fam, when you understand how malleable this material, physical world actually is, how much control you have over it, it takes all of the negative charge away of what you think you can't control, what you think you're a victim of, whether you think you're a victim of your environment or your parents or what your ex did and um, your age or your job experience, whatever excuse you're giving yourself, once you really understand and grasp how malleable your world is dependent upon your beliefs, and you make it a game, make it like light-hearted, and you understand how much control you actually have, it takes away all of that negative charge uh, where you feel like you're out of control and the environment is happening to you instead of for you. And now you understand that you have so much control over what you experience in your physical reality. And then you'll find that the things that you don't control actually worked out for the better because it kept you from getting entangled with the lesser so that you could experience the better. Okay, step number four, keep your vibration high. You are only going to experience in the physical that to which you're a match. Okay, so if you have a high vibration, you're only going to experience people, places, things, events, predominantly of a high similar vibration. And this is where meditation is worth its weight in gold. If you don't have a good meditative practice, I suggest that you watch my video here, How to Meditate. <laughs> and when you have a high vibration, you can't help but to have a high self-esteem. And as I just mentioned in step three, you're going to attract other people that also have a high self-esteem that are probably doing great things in their life. Why are you going to attract them? Birds of a feather, <laughs> right? So keep that vibration high and you're going to attract all of the business partners, the romantic interests, the friends that you need to get to that next highest level and really live the life of your dreams. All right guys, so thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you know someone struggling with low self-esteem, please share this video with them, make a positive difference in their life. If you found value in the video, please click that subscribe button, uh, click the like button, hit that notification bell. I do drop spiritual tutorials every week. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, light, love, and abundance to all that are watching and to all you love. Peace, guys.